What's going on guys? So I've been spending a little bit of time with this one. I actually wore it today and got some pretty good feedback from those around me. And uh, I want to talk to you about my thoughts on the Pure Parfum Perfume Edition of Club de Nuit Intense Man, the big 150 ml, the newest release from 2022. And this one's a kind of a departure from the rest of the fragrances in the line and I want to discuss it with you. So stay tuned. So first and foremost, I would like to thank PerfumeOnline.ca for sending this down my way so I could spend some time with it. I've been wanting to get my hands on this one ever since I got the limited edition Parfum, which I'm a huge fan of that one. Of course, I've always been a fan of the Eau de Toilette. I've never smelled their Eau de Parfum. From what I understand, it's kind of similar, maybe even the same, I'm not sure, as the limited edition Parfum, but this one kind of takes a bit of a departure from the DNA, even though it's the same note breakdown, I don't know if it's been reblended and rebalanced or it's just the increased oil concentration that just changed the way it smells, but it is smoother, more refined, and definitely a bit more polished overall than the rest of the line. It's a very sweet, fruity, candied citrus and fruits at the top. Like the lemon's very sweet. It's a sweet lemon smell at the top, and it's quite leathery, animalistic, almost like earthy tone. Um, and the only earthy note I've seen is patchouli. Like, I haven't seen any oak moss in note breakdowns from Parfumo, in a note breakdown from Fragrantica for this. I'm assuming it's got to be the patchouli. It's creating this dense, almost dirty, earthy feel to it. A little bit of a leathery facet. And it's dark and smoky. The black currant's still there. But like I said, it's more sweet and fruity than bitter and fruity, like black currant usually comes across. Now, on test sprays, it's it's okay. You know, directly off of skin, it's okay. I have it on my hand right now. It's on my neck and everything. I've been wearing it all day. And directly off skin, it's okay. It's not amazing. It's not like, wow, this is the best version. The wearing experience changes that, though. Enjoying the sillage, getting random whiffs of it in the sillage just coming off of your skin, just out in the air, has a bit of a magical quality to it. So this in some ways is the most superior of the fragrance DNA. As soon as I got in the car with George this morning, for those of you who don't know, I'm in Chicago right now, getting everything together to ship out Zed Creators 2.0 after recording this video. Complimented me, said I smelled much nicer today than I did yesterday, which for a frame of reference, I was wearing Blue Noir Parfum, and uh, he told me I smelled like baby powder. <laughs> so with this, immediately, first thing in the morning, I got a compliment. And it's been a lovely sillage throughout the day. I had Justin, who's here, Justin Copeland, shout out to him. He he smelled it on me. It was quite nice. He was surprised it was a Club de Nuit Intense Man flanker. Because out in the air, it doesn't smell quite as harsh, synthetic, and I guess cheap overall, like Club de Nuit Intense Man can smell sometimes. Um, it's very smooth. As far as, the like I said, the top, sweet, citrus, not real sharp, very smooth and robust, thick smell. Uh, dirty, earthy smell, almost, like I said, almost a dirt-like patchouli. It's got to be the patchouli. And, of course, you get some smokiness from the birch. I don't really get much on the floral side of things, and I get a little bit of sweetness but as it dries, but it's mostly at the top where it's sweet. It's a sweet, fruity smell mostly. So it does change from being very sweet at the top to lightly sweet, a bit more musky and earthy as it dries. Like I said, kind of a departure from the rest of the line. Now, I'm still not sure if I prefer this scent to the limited edition Parfum. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a toss up. That's a, it's such a difficult decision to make because they're much more, they're much different from one another. Why not hugely different? There's enough differences here to where it's not completely redundant to have both of them because that's more fresh bright and smoky and this is much more earthy and sweet that's the main takeaways i get from this earthy and sweet doesn't completely smell like aventus but doesn't venture too far out from the aventus dna so would i call this the ultimate version not necessarily you can get this 150 ml bottle for pretty much the same price as the 100 ml of the limited edition parfum and i mean that's up to you on what you prefer i just i can't seem to make a decision between the two i'm actually happily Happy to have both of them so I don't have to make that decision because I think they both have merit and this one is actually quite nice. Now as far as performance, 
This is where it may turn some off or excite some because it's not a loud fragrance. This is not a huge projector. This is the weakest projecting fragrance of the line because it's actually going the path as you go up in all concentrations of what traditionally a slightly heavier fragrance as you raise the oil concentration will do. Whereas the higher the oil goes, the closer the projection, the weaker the projection, but the thicker the aroma, the cloud that you will have, which this does benefit from in sillage. It's just the projection is toned down. I would call it average at best, hour and a half, two hour range, you know, maybe arms reach. It's not really screaming off the skin, at least not in my experience, it's not screaming off of my skin. The longevity is 12 plus hours solid. It's still going. I sprayed this on at eight o'clock this morning. It is currently 10 o'clock in the evening. So that is a nice 14 hour stretch. I can still smell my sillage when I turn certain ways. I get nice little light whiffs of it. I have four sprays around my neck and it's the longevity is there. If you're looking for long and long and strong, it's not quite as strong, but it's sillage is what gets made up. It, Siage makes up for the lack of projection, I guess you could say, because where it doesn't reach out and grab somebody real far, it'll linger in the air. It has this nice, dense aroma kind of surrounding you that stays pretty consistent. I would say within this range of bubble, this nice little bubble has been kind of surrounding me throughout the day, and that's when Justin smelled me, for example. I was within arm's reach from him, and he could smell it on me, and this was maybe five or six hours ago, so still many hours into the lifespan of this fragrance. So I would say the sillage is on the moderate to heavy side. Projections average at best, longevity is beast mode. Final thoughts on Club de Nuit Intense Man, the Pure Parfum Perfume. I say it that way because that is what it says on the box. Parfum Pure Perfume. So that's, that's how it'll be titled, for example. Um, I think this is actually pretty damn good. Um, at first, I was not, I was not amazed by it, and I'm still not necessarily amazed by it. But I am intrigued by it. I do find it a very enjoyable wear, possibly the most enjoyable of all of them. I'm still, like I said, I'm still on the fence on do I like the limited edition parfum more still than I do this. It's a toss up at this point. That one, I believe I gave an 8.5 out of 10. And honestly, I think this one's an 8.5 out of 10 as well. This is another great fragrance in this line. If you have the Eau de Toilette, this is more closed space, longer lasting, obviously, but more closed space, intimate level type of projection. Not a room filler because the Eau de Toilette can be a loud, very, very loud fragrance. Whereas this Parfum Pure Perfume, it is as such. It's a pure perfume concentration, high oil, so dense, lingers, just doesn't reach out real far and last a long time. So 8.5 out of 10. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Club de Nuit Intense Man Parfum Pure Perfume from our moth. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this and what do you think about it? I'm very curious on your thoughts. Thank you again to PerfumeOnline.ca for sending this my way for review. I greatly appreciate it. I will get more wear out of this. I do enjoy the line. I've been going back to it a lot more here in the last six months. I've been wearing the Eau de Toilette. I've worn the limited edition parfum quite a bit. And now this one's jumping in the rotation. It's actually really nice. And until next time, I will say if you get the parfum pure perfume version of Seating Nim, Give it a spray now. Might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.